Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Miss Todd's podcast. Hey, hey, hey! This is your host, Missy, and welcome to Missy Todd's podcast. And tonight, it's my ninth episode, and we're going to talk about forgiveness. And in this topic, we're going to discuss about how do you forgive even when it feels impossible. So yes, how do you forgive that someone even though that forgiveness is really impossible to do? And yeah, I miss you all. Do you miss me? Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm really uh, happy that uh, all of my supporters are still listening on my episodes. Kahit na uh, medyo matagal ako na hindi nakapag-release ng episodes ko. But tonight, it this is the most uh, special edition. Mm-hmm. This is the comeback the comeback of the Hugotera Charot. And yeah, I hope na may matutunan kayo in this episode and I really hope na you will keep on listening till the end of this episode. And yeah, whether it's a spouse who was unfaith- unfaithful, a parent who let you down as a child, or a friend who share something in told confident, we all must face the question of whether and how to forgive are you wrong and the initial wave of emotion has passed you're presented with a new challenge do you forgive that person by forgiving you let go of your grievances and judgment and allow yourself to heal while this may sound good in theory, in practice, forgiveness can sometimes feel impossible. To learn how to forgive, you must first learn what forgiveness is not. Most of us hold at least some misconceptions about forgiveness. Here are some things that forgiving someone doesn't mean Forgiveness doesn't mean you are pardoning or excusing the other person's action. Forgiveness doesn't mean you need to tell the person that he or she is forgiven. Forgiveness doesn't mean you should have any more feelings about the situation. Forgiveness doesn't mean there is nothing further to to work out in the relationship or that everything is okay now. Forgiveness doesn't mean you should forget the incident ever happened. Forgiveness doesn't mean you have to continue to include the person in your life. And lastly, Forgiveness isn't something you do for the other person. So by forgiving, you are accepting the reality of what happened and finding a way to live in a state of resolution with it. This can be a gradual process and it doesn't necessarily have to include the person you are forgiving. Forgiveness isn't something you do for the person who wronged you. It is something you do for yourself. It is something you do for you. So, if forgiveness is something you do for yourself and it can help you heal, why it is so hard? Bakit nga ba napakahirap magpatawad ng isang tao? Kahit na alam mong pinapatawad mo siya para sa sarili mo. So, if forgiveness is something you do for yourself and you know that it will really heal you, bakit ang hirap? Bakit ang hirap magpatawad? So, there are several reasons you failed 
with thoughts of retribution or revenge. You enjoy feeling superior. You don't know how to resolve the situation. You're addicted that the anger provides. You self-identify as a victim. And you're afraid that by forgiving, you have to reconnect or lose your connection with the other person. These reasons not to forgive can be resolved by becoming more familiar with yourself, with your thoughts, with your feelings, and with your boundaries and needs. Now that you know what forgiveness is not and why it is so hard to do, ask yourself, Do I want to forgive? Kailangan ko bang magpatawad? dahil alam mo na yung mga reasons ng forgiveness at alam mo na napakahirap nito pero alang-alang sa sarili mo do you really want to forgive? do I want to forgive? so forgiveness requires feeling willing to forgive sometimes you won't because the hurt went too deep or because the other person was too abusive or expressed no regret do not attempt to forgive someone before you have identified fully felt expressed and release your anger and pain if you decide that you are willing to forgive Find a good place and time to be alone with your thoughts. Then try these following four steps to forgive even when it feels impossible. So here are the four steps. To forgive that someone even when it really feels impossible. So first step is think about the incident that angered you. Ano ba yung mga pangyayari? Bakit galit ka sa taong yan? So, accept that it happened. Accept how you felt about it and how it made you react. In order to forgive, you need to acknowledge the reality of what occurred and how you were affected about it. So second is acknowledge the growth you experience as a result of what happened. What did it make you learn about yourself or about your needs and boundaries? Not only did you survive the incident, but perhaps you grew from it. So third is, now think about the other person. He or she is flown because all human beings are flown. He or she act from limit beliefs and fame of reference because sometimes we all act from our limited beliefs and frames of reference. When you were hurt, the other person was trying to have a need meet. What do you think this need was? And why did the person go about it such a hurtful way? So fourth and finally, decide whether or not you want to tell the other person that you have forgiven, forgiven him or her. So, if you decide not to express forgiveness directly, then do it your own. Say the word, I forgive you, aloud, and then add as much explanation as you feel it mattered. So, the four steps to forgive even when it feels impossible is to f- is first, think about the incident that angered you. 
Ano ba yung dahilan bakit galit ka sa taong yan? Then accept what happened. Accept how you feel about it. And how that bad situation made you react. So acknowledge the reality that that things occurred. And accept the fact that it really happened so second is acknowledge the growth you experience as a result of what happened so yung mga pangyayaring yun those were lessons learned and on those lessons marami kang natutunan it, it made you grow as an individual and alam mo na kung ano na yung mangyayari sa next episode ng buhay mo <laughs> sa next episode ng buhay So, oh yeah, ask about your needs and boundaries and what you really learn about that particular lesson. Acknowledge the growth you experience. And third, now think about the other person. Isipin mo yung taong yun. Ano ba yung ginawa niya in that situation? Ano ba yung mga narinig niyang kwento tungkol sa'yo na ikinagalit mo? Ano ba yung mga <clears throat> reasons bakit ikaw siya nag-react ng ganyan? And we all know that we are all human beings and we do make mistakes. Made mistakes, I mean. And we flaw. We flaw. Because we're all human beings. And finally, decide whether you want to tell that person that you forgive him. For me, it's really awkward to tell that person na, Oy, pinapatawad na kita. Like Julia and Joshua, no? Sa paubaya. It's okay to admit, or it's okay to tell that person that you forgive him, or you f- forgive her. Pero it's really awkward naman. But yeah, it's one of the way uh, to make um, to make closure with that someone. And syempre, to heal yourself. Kasi, pinat- pinatawad mo na yung taong yan. And forgiveness puts the final seal on what happened that hurt you most. You will still remember what happened when you will no longer be bound by it. So, having worked through the feelings and learned what you need to do is to strengthen your boundaries and get your needs met. You are better able to take care of yourself in the future. So, forgiving the other person is wonderful way to honor yourself. It affirms to the universe that you deserve to be happy. Totoo naman. Everybody deserves to be happy. Everybody deserves to have a wonderful life na alam mo sa sarili mo na wala kang sinasakta na tao or, or napatawad mo na yung mga taong nagkasala sa iyo, 'di ba? So it really it 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 is really satisfying to let go of the hurts and bitterness because it's the only one way to improve your health lalo na yung peace of mind mo peace of mind your mental health kasi if you can't forgive someone magulo talaga yung isip mo kasi you keep on thinking about that you keep on thinking about those person you keep on thinking about the reasons why you keep on overthinking things and with forgiveness It really seal the things that hurts you most. Dahil alam mo sa sarili mo na when you forgive, you will be fully healed. When you forgive that someone, you will be fully healed. Because if you have forgiveness in your heart, you also have a peace in your heart. And that's the most precious gift God gave us is to heal someone. Kahit na we really... 
kahit na it's really impossible to forgive someone kahit na yung someone na ito eh, eh hindi naka hindi nakapag sorry sa yo but you but you yourself know that when you forgive that someone you will be happy you will you will have a peace of mind you d- you have a wonderful ma- wonderful life kasi alam mo sa sarili mo na pinatawad mo na ang taong yun kahit na um, kahit na ang sakit-sakit na ginawa niya sa iyo and yeah that's what forgiveness mean kahit it's really impossible so one of the most courageous decisions you'll never make is to finally let go of what is hurting your heart and your soul. Napaka deep. Napaka deep nako. But yeah, that's reality, that's life. And <clears throat> kahit na kahit na yung iba sabihin ng iba na mar- martyr tayo. But we have to we have to forgive someone. For our own sake. For our own sake. So if someone hurt us in a way that feels bad and we say, I will never forgive you. Someone wounds us emotionally or physically and we think that's unforgivable. Totoo naman, napakasakit naman talaga if marinig mo sa isang tao na I will never forgive you. Ano ba yung iri-react mo? Yet, we're constantly being told that forgiveness is a vital for our mental health. Totoo naman, it will really give us peace of mind. So, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng forgiveness na ito? So, forgiveness is the letting go of the judgment that you that you hold against someone else. When you forgive, you also let go of feelings of bitterness, resentment, and revenge. Many people have difficulty with the word forgiveness we imagine forgiveness involves saying I forgive you and includes a hug normal pat on the back or a blessing that may be true sometimes but not all the time forgiveness doesn't have to involve the other person and it is not their benefit In the word forgiveness bothers you, you don't have to use it, or you could make up a new one. Processing emotional trauma and releasing old wounds is more important by forgiving. So why should we forgive? Anger, bitterness, hate, these emotions weigh heavily on your body and in your thoughts when you don't process and release your emotions they will remain trapped inside you and can cause physical alignments like stomach aches high blood pressures and can worst your depression and anxiety that's what i said earlier when you forgive and let go of the grief you are freeing your body and your mind forgiveness isn't the only way to let go of negative emotions but it is one of the best way so third do i have to forgive i believe that forgiveness can ha- can be helpful to many and its ability to heal your wounds may surprise you with by trying it But forcing yourself to forgive before you're ready could actually deepen your feelings of trauma and anger. Don't let anyone try to convince you to forgive when you are not yet ready. 
or if you don't want to forgive that that person you are not broken just because you aren't okay with forgiving someone else minds so it's okay if you can't forgive that some someone easily take your time because forgiveness will really come your way so how do i do it so how do you forgive someone so write out your thoughts write out your feelings express and your anger remember that the letter you express is for you and that's the only way that you can release your thoughts by writing down your feelings when you forgive someone So you want to get all the emotions in a piece of paper. And when you're done writing it, you can try to to, to read and tell that person about the thoughts that you want to say to him or to her. So when someone hurt us, it's normal to hold on to feelings and anger and to want revenge but when we cling to our anger because it feels justified we can't heal so whether or not you feel the forgiveness can be part of your healing process the healing process itself is vital while you heal keep the focus on yourself focus on what you can do to make your life better and whole so focus on the things that you need to do when you need to improve yourself and heal yourself and yeah even though it's hard to forgive someone even though it's really impossible to forgive someone but we must forgive so that we may able to be healed so we may able to heal ourselves from our thoughts and from our from our life from our bad life so yeah so it will really help you strength strengthen your boundaries when you try to forgive someone kahit na mag-aaway kayo ng best friend mo or sino man yung kaaway mo try to talk and forgive that someone because that's the only way to have a peace of mind lalo na sa mental health mo and yeah this is my topic for tonight about forgiveness and I really do hope na may natutunan kayo sa topic na ito And thank you for listening to me tonight. Uh, I know na, na pagod ka from your work or kahit saan ka man galing. And you choose to keep listening here. And I really appreciate it. And, I'm, and I thank you so much for keep on tuning in. And yeah, you can keep on listening me. Keep on listening on me on Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Anchor.fm. Nandun pa rin ako. You can still follow me on my social media accounts, on my Facebook page, on my IG page, on my Twitter account. And keep on tracking on me. Keep on listening on me for more updates. No, Every day, mag update na ako. Not every day, but yeah. I will keep on updating you guys and I really do hope na marami pa akong episodes na marirelease sa inyo no? and this is really my comeback and there's a lot of new experiences new stories new thoughts na I'm going to share with you all and I really do hope na may natutunan kayo in every episodes that I release dito and I'm really happy 
na nandito pa rin kayo sa akin na sumusuporta. And yeah, this is my topic for tonight, forgiveness. So, pinapatawad ko na kayo. <laughs> Charot, I forgive you kung sino ka man. And yeah, I'm going to end it up here. And good night.